yeah as you can see I'm still alive even though we are just one point ahead of Napoli I'm not confident at all and tomorrow we are facing Inter away Lord help me all right as you can see I'm in great mood and uh, I couldn't be better it's weekend looking forward to it looking forward to tomorrow night no I'm not because we are facing Inter Inter will be angry Inter will be focused Inter will want to win and we will most probably want to avoid defeat so I'm not looking forward to that not even in the slightest and uh, by the looks of it this should be a very difficult game for Juve but it's Fino alla Fina time, uh, supporters have been gathering it outside Vinovo and talking to the players even, uh, motivating them, telling them that we are behind them. Uh, yeah, well we are, but we are not happy how we are approaching games lately, so there is a room for concern, there is tons of concerns and critics towards Allegri, however he doesn't seem to care so much because right now he's only focused on doing the job and granted, that's what he should be doing and not focusing on what other people are saying. However, after this long season, you can see that we are tired. We are out of ideas going forward. We never had any clear ideas going forward anyway, but now it clearly shows. And it showed against Napoli so clearly. And unfortunately, we lost 1-0 and now they are only one point behind us. And Inter, well, they play a different football, but they play good football. Cancelo, for example, has been a brilliant player since January. Uh, Icardi is just there and thereabouts, loves to score against Juve. And uh, Ivan Perisic somehow always seems to get a good game against Juve, against big guys. So don't be surprised if those two, or maybe even three, impress tomorrow. <sighs> Juve, <laughs> I don't know, um, I'm not confident, I do not trust this team, I don't trust Allegri, I don't trust Higuain, I don't trust Dybala, I don't trust nobody, I don't even trust Buffon unfortunately, that's how far it has become, it's become a farce, I can't even rely on the most trusted and most senior players, because the way we play always puts more and more pressure on our senior guys, on our defense and on Buffon and sooner or later he will do a mistake because everybody else is failing. So as I said don't be surprised if we even lose tomorrow because of these mistakes, because of our defensive approach, because I don't see us attacking tomorrow, especially after what I've just heard. Apparently Allegri wants to bench Dybala and bench Douglas Costa. <laughs> I don't think that will happen. I think Douglas Costa will start on the bench, but Dybala will start because after today's press conference, it's only logical that Dybala will start because Allegri said that he expects a lot from Dybala this coming month. Well, we all do, but where is it? How can you utilize him in the team and take the best out of this kid? How? By playing offensive football. It's as simple as that. But if we are playing defensive, like we usually do, you're asking Dybala too much. You're asking Dybala basically to create attack by his own. Because Higuain is not a creator, he's a finisher. Douglas Costa will be on the bench, most probably. And who you got left? Mandzukic and Cuadrado, come on guys. It will be all up to Dybala yet again, because he expects too much from him. No help whatsoever. And this is what pisses me off and most probably I see a way out for Dybala out of this and he has to leave Juventus. Or Allegri needs to change his approach and start building his team as an attacking positive side. Because that's what we need tomorrow night. That's what, it, that's what it comes down to. We need this tomorrow night. Clean sheet and a victory. I never mind the clean sheet. A victory. That would be perfect. But again, as I said, you're asking too much of Dybala. So the predicted lineup, I just saw it. And it doesn't look good because apparently Giorgio Chiellini is out for the season. 
no surprise there. Uh, we have only, what, four games left. So he is out for the rest of the season. And who do we got left? Well, Benatia will for sure be a very crucial player for us. And then you have Barzagli, Origani, or maybe even Benedict Hervedes. Who will play in the center of the defense? Well, I guess it will be Benatia. I don't know, it's really the same to me, Evides, Basagli, Origani. It's Icardi, guys, you know, he's unpredictable. He's a fox in the box, he's a killer in the box. So we need to be aware. And do I trust Basagli more than I do Origani? No. Do I trust Evides more than I do with Origani and Basagli? No. So I don't really know. So from the top of my head, let's go with Origani, huh? What, let's go with him. On the left back, probably Alexandro. On the right back, no De Shiglio there. Probably no Evides there either. So, Stefan Lechsteiner, looking forward to it. <sighs> Going forward, apparently we will start with Pjanic and Kedira in the midfield. And uh, Dybala just behind Iguain, Quadrado on the right and Mandzukic on the left. <sighs> And this is my reaction to the lineup. This this is just doesn't give me any confidence. It's only about the mentality, it seems. Because our lineup and our way of playing is perfect. It's all about the mentality, it seems. And this is what I don't get with Allegri. Change it up. Be creative. But no. So first thing we do, we'll probably send a long ball to Mandzukic. He will probably win that one. Get it to Kedira, Kedira gets it to Pjanic, and then we start all over again. We'll fail to create anything because uh, uh, Dybala will be packed. If he will be man marked, forget about it, forget about attacking. Iguin will be isolated again, and we will try not to concede a goal. Or maybe even we do score, guys. Maybe even we score first. Then we will sit back, anyways. So expect us sitting back for at least one half. At least one 45 minutes. So, I don't expect many goals from us, I highly doubt that we will score at all, but if we are lucky, I'd go for a draw. I'd go for a 1-1 draw and that if we are lucky. That's how much faith I have in this team at the moment. I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. That's just the way it is. Because nothing, nothing this season gives me the confidence that we would just switch it on suddenly. The away game to Real Madrid. It's just a fluke, so I highly doubt that we will repeat that performance. I can actually go even further, I guarantee you that we will not score three goals tomorrow. Yeah, uh, great build up, huh? You're probably really motivated to watch that game tomorrow, huh? Well, at least I'm gonna watch it. And as usual, my match day vlog will come after the game. See you then, fino alla fine. I guess I have to say it, never lose faith in your team, but uh, I'm starting to, I'm starting to. One point ahead though, and also Napoli are playing away to Fiorentina. So please, Fiorentina, please Viola, forget about Baggios, forget about Bernardeschis, forget about our rivalry, please win.